Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz, Oz Mechanics. If you have a coolant leak, this, uh, this video is for you. So basically, I'm going to show you an uh, easy and fast way to find a coolant leak. Um, and uh, hopefully this can help you out. So right now, I'm just using this vehicle. It doesn't have a coolant leak or, or, or anything like that. But uh, I'm just going to show you what, what tools I use and, uh, and a fast little way to find out if you have a coolant leak. So my uh, preferred tool to use this is uh, is a radiator pressure tester. You got this right here. Uh, you can actually rent these radiator pressure testers fairly cheap, uh, and they'll give you your money back. Uh, it can be like 70, 75 bucks, but remember, everything's gonna be given back to you. Uh, on top of that, some other vehicles have different adapters, so. Like in my tool case, see I have different ones from BMWs, Fords, uh, this goes for Jaguars and all that. Just different adapters. So, like I, on this one, I'm going to show you a generic one. This is a connection that's already attached to, the, uh, to this uh, tester. And normally, these connections look like this. All right. So if you have that connection, you don't have to get any adapters. Any other one like uh, Civics and uh, uh, some Fords, you have to get an adapter for it. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I do and and how to do it. It's pretty simple. So if you don't even if you don't have this tool, just rent it from AutoZone or Riley's. They'll give you your money back. So they're they're not going to keep anything. So what you do, hook up this tool right here. Make sure it's on there all the way until you get it clicked. And what I'm going to do, let's see if I can hold this right here. So we're going to pump this up. Until on the cap it should tell you the pressure should be to uh, you should go and this one shows 18 pounds so guess what we're gonna pump it up to 18 pounds almost there so we got it close to 18 pounds, 17. That's good enough. That, that, right there, that's the maximum. On uh, sorry for that. On that cap, that's the maximum. So once this cap reaches 18 pounds, it's gonna release the pressure to the outside, so the cooling system won't, won't bust. So that's what this 18 pounds is for. But uh, if you can do 17, that, that's great. You're not overdoing it. So right now, what this is doing, this is basically creating pressure in the system. So we, if we do have a leak, guess what? It'll start dripping in the bottom. But right now, we don't have no drips. It's dry down there. And that's how you test. That's an easy way to test out the cooling system. Um, if you still have an overheating problem, Never over overlook this, the radiator cap, <laughs> because that happened to me once, and trust me, I learned the hard way. So, if you have an adapter and it comes with the adapter kit, you can test those out as well. Stick these on. Give me one quick second. I want you to see the process. I gotta work on my editing as well. So, stick that on there. As you can see, this has grooves, both small and big. So, what you're gonna do, you're gonna stick it on there, push it down, clamp it on there. Let's take the pressure off of this, release it because we know we don't have any leaks, and then hook this up to there. 
And we're going to do the same thing. So, I'm going to show you one thing. What this has to do, it has to go to 18, you see, and then drop. Well, actually, you know what? This is a bad cap because it should be holding pressure. So, actually, we found something bad on this system. We have a bad cap. It's not holding the pressure. So, initially stating, this is only holding pressure at 4 pounds. So, after 4 pounds, this starts throwing the fluid out of the container out to the, uh, outside the vehicle. So, guess what? We might have prevented something right here. And this cap is only 9 bucks. This engine is almost used two grand, so hey, I'm kind of kind of happy that I did this video because we're gonna save this customer some money right here by doing this video. So there you go, a good cap would have to stay up right there. It would not surpass 18. It should stay up, and that's how we have it. Let me let me see if I can get another cap. Give me one quick second. Let's test this cap out. You see? That you see how that one stays? And this is pressure is it 16? Yeah. It wouldn't surpass 16. 16 is yellow. So this cap is good. So this cap is bad. So you see? Always test out every component of the cooling system. If not, it's going to bite you right in the butt. We found out that this was a bad one. You know, 10 bucks later, customers going to be happy. So there you go. If you did enjoy this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, do whatever you want. If you have a thumbs down, please tell me why. I'm really interested because I know there's some videos that always have one thumbs down. And I want to know why. So please put it in the comments. Hey, everyone take care. Bye.